what do you do when you are inside your hypnosis session and your client just has that wonderful breakthrough and they say something like really, really powerful and profound and then they dismiss it or they just move on to another thing very, very quickly. And then you have this powerful thing and you you might want to just write that down to either tell them about it or put it in an audio or something. Like, what do you do in that situation where there's a powerful moment, but the client dismisses it? Well, this is going to be a very unpopular, but what we do inside our hypnotic questioning sessions is that we interrupt whatever the client client's new path is and we focus their attention back into the powerful thing that they said so we don't write notes down and instead because we're listening to our clients we'll just remember what they say right and so when we are inside the sessions and they say something very powerful and they move on to something great we go wait 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 you just said this or we go, wait, 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 wait. We repeat the powerful thing that they say. And then boom, it's like their mind has turned into jello. And then their lives will never be the same again. Because it is through that process uh, that you actually can benefit your clients. A lot of hypnotherapists, especially at the beginning, are so scared and shy to interrupt the client but inside the hypnotic questioning world we interrupt the conscious wealth because that is not useful right them dismissing a powerful moment is not good for them so why would you reinforce it by not putting their attention on the powerful thing by waiting till later why the fuck would you wait right the moment is there utilize it it's it's just like you know the the moments when you have an idea and then that idea is there and it's very very bright and then you get distracted by something and then you forget that idea and you're like oh shit I forgot that idea I should have written it down that is why you remember it at that moment it was at that present moment that the transformation is happening you want to grow it by keeping your client's attention on it so never ever ever be scared to interrupt the conscious bullshit that your clients are saying and the dismissal, but instead interrupt with a powerful thing that they say. So for example, a client's like, blah, 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 blah. I just want to love myself. And I am in this place where I'm happy on my own a powerful thing. And then they go, but like, I've been really, really shitty about myself. Like I ate that piece of chocolate the other day and oh my God, I love blah, blah, blah. Right. How is that good for the client to go from, I love myself to, I beat myself up. Right. You want to interrupt that conscious fluff, backwards re rationalization, that dismissal, and instead place their attention and say, wait, you just said that you are finally happy to love yourself. Like, what is that like? Tell me more about that. So then you get to refocus the direction of the conversation to the actual things that matter. And wouldn't you think that just makes for a better transformation for your clients? Of course, right? Of course. And so definitely would encourage you to interrupt the dismissal and instead focus on the powerful thing and grow it by asking them questions about it or repeating the very powerful moment that they have just presented to you. Because if that amazing, powerful thing gets dismissed and dismissed and dismissed, then it's it's just like that idea, right? It's now gone and it's not going to be embedded in your client's transformation, which is very unfortunate. So you want to keep that anchored and keep that attention by interrupting. And if you are scared to interrupt, I totally get it. But this is how you can get amazing client transformations that last over time.